Hello, in this video I want to show you my preferred setup for producing a really standout job resume in Visual CV. Those of you who are clients of mine will probably know that I use Visual CV as an online builder to work with you to help you develop a really good CV or resume for whatever job challenge you have. Of course, I work with mainly doctors and so we work on a professional, usually like three, four, maybe five or six page resume for jobs. And you also probably know if you've watched many of my videos that I do believe that spending a few dollars on an online CV builder is a really good investment in terms of basically removing all that pain and problems of formatting and selecting text and all that sort of thing in terms of coming out with a professional, good looking CV or resume that you can produce in a PDF format for your application so that you can just concentrate on the content in your CV or resume. So what's my preferred setup for Visual CV? Let me take you through that. So firstly, we're gonna log in to Visual CV in the login page. Uh, then you can see that I'm in my own personal account for Visual CV. I have, I guess it's called a pro version. So um, under this little person icon here, you will have uh, account settings, knowledge center and logout. I've got an extra thing called company admin, which is the way I am able to set up Visual CV accounts for my client. So if you are a doctor or someone else who thinks, you know, you can use me for my expertise in, in developing your CV or resume. I'll leave some links in the description below as to how you can become a client and um, use my, or get a license to use the pro version of Visual CV as one of my clients. I'll also leave a link in the description below if you're just watching this video and you're interested in uh, trialing out Visual CV, but you don't, you're not a doctor maybe, or you just don't want to work with me, that's fine. That will be a link that you can uh, eventually purchase Visual CV and it's an affiliate link so if you do end up purchasing it, a little bit of money comes back to me to help with the channel as well. So I'll leave all those links in the description below. But we're in Visual CV and you can see I've got a, a bunch here already. Let's just say we're going to produce a new or work on a new CV or resume. I guess one of the advantages here is when you click on this you say I want to do a new one it gives you the option to copy another one. And so this is why labeling it can be helpful as well, because you want to make sure that, you know, that it helps you in terms of remembering which one's which. So we click on the add new CV resume. In this case, I'm just going to do start from scratch. Uh, so the next option you get uh, with starting from scratch uh, is to choose a template. Now it doesn't really matter what you choose now, because you can always change the template. Okay. So don't worry about like being forced into a choice. You can see here there's some new ones, rec uh, recently produced new ones. All of them have photos, which I'm not a big fan of, and uh, you'll, there's videos on that to show you why. I'm actually going to pick this one that's got the photo in it, because you can actually remove the photo. Uh, and this is my, it's my preferred template for, for most circumstances. So we're going to use this template. All right, so here we are. We've got, sorry, sorry I picked up my name, obviously. Uh, so we've got a template. And the reason I picked this template is... I think this gives you the most bang for your buck on your front page. It allows you to put your work experience. Um, you probably won't get your education on the front page, but your, your work experience, at least particularly your most recent work experience, as well as, and we're just going to add this here, your career summary with about two thirds of the width of the page to put information there on those two important sections of your CV or resume, as well as this side bit on the right. So it's not distracting. There's a lot of options where you can do it on the left. I actually think it's better to do it on the right because you want them to read your career summary and your work experience. Um, that's how people read CVs these days. They do it digitally like a blog post. You go down the left and across, down the left and across. And then obviously we've got our details on the right. Now, a couple of extra things I'm going to do here. We might pause the video and I'm just going to populate it with a little bit of information. Okay, I'm back and I've just populated a bit of information in here. Now, if you ever want to check what it's going to look like in a printable form, one thing you'll notice is there's no kind of page breaks on the editor but what you can do is just click on this little download button and click on download pdf and then in your browser they'll pop up a little pdf there for you now just a, now just a few more things to get set up before you put all the content in obviously you're going to give yourself a bit of a headline there but some things i want to do i don't like this red flashy color i like to kind of just make it as simple as possible so i'm going to click on the primary color here and make it the same as the uh, I guess that's the secondary or the link color. Yep. And I just like this blue. It obviously looks a bit metal. I mean, you can go for, if you want to play around with it, you can go for, say, a slightly different style where you just go all, uh, you can go black and blue. That looks all right. Or you can even go all, all black here if you're a fan of New Zealand or something like that. Sometimes an orange color works well, but I thought that, you know, the 
try not to be too clashy. Now, with some of the other templates that have different fonts, this has got a nice font in it already, so nothing to change there. But if you do want to change the font, that is up the top here, you've got your header fonts, so we can change them around. Uh, but I like the Source Sans Pros. So I've changed the colors. We've got a sort of right sidebar here. The other thing is here, so you'll notice when I go into the PDF mode, there is no photo, which is great. You obviously want to put in your other details. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Um, you don't need to put, in Australia, you don't need to put a, a physical address. There is an option to put some, uh, some websites in here. I've seen some people put sort of like a LinkedIn, so you can put your like LinkedIn.in link there. But what's missing here is the ability to put in some things like qualif short qualifications, etc. See how it's actually picked up the LinkedIn there for you. So what the next thing I recommend you just set yourself up with is don't put a skill section because you get these silly bars that, you know, what do they mean? They're meaningless. So I'll take that away, delete that. Just do a simple text section and I recommend calling the section P information. And so this is where you would put like your, you know, MBBS, your, you know, FRNZCP, uh, your MED, mid you know your ARPA, ARPA registration that's a good thing to put down to show that you're already registered if you've got it things like your IELTS scores OETs etc key stuff the employers are really looking for off the bat so you put that in there uh, and that's how I recommend setting up that is my recommended initial setup for setting up visual CV to then put in the information for your own CV resume obviously you're going to add a few more headings here think sections here like Maybe CPD, continuing professional development, research, teaching, etc. It's going to go on a bit. Uh, your last section will always be your referees. Although some people will have a, um, a verification statement at the end of that. And then you'll have all the other bits and bobs in between. But that is the basic setup. And again, we can check what that looks like in a printable form by just clicking on that download PDF. Uh, and there we are. We're on our way.